2008, more and more investors started requesting multiple liquidation preferences on convertible debt issued to early stage and venture backed companies. This video illustrates how to quickly determine the investment cash flow impact of these transactions on venture capitalists, angels, founders, and other parties using liquid scenarios. In the interactive ICAP table display, simply right click on the convertible debt you want to apply a multiple liquidation preference to. After right clicking, select Edit Details to display a dialog that contains every aspect of the convertible debt. One such aspect is an interactive tabular display of model conversion scenarios. This includes accrued interest, accrued warrant coverage, and principal um, if the security um, is, is known that it's going to convert into. To see the impact of the multiple liquidation preference on a convertible debt, we simply right click on principal and select liquidation preference. Liquid Scenarios Dynamic Waterfall now shows the impact of the convertible debt multiple liquidation preference on everyone's cash on cash returns. Selecting a hypothetical VC investor such as Kodiak shows their returns across significant exit values assuming Kodiak doesn't participate in the bridge note. To see how Kodiak's cash on cash return potential would be impacted by participating in the bridge note, we simply right click on convertible debt and select add shareholders. After selecting Kodiak as the investor, simply enter the amount of the bridge note they are expected to purchase. Seconds later, we can see in quantifiable and perfectly accurate terms exactly how Kodiak's cash on cash investment return potential is dramatically improved by purchasing the bridge note versus not participating. So to recap, how do we quickly determine the investment cash flow of a convertible debt multiple liquidation preference? We simply right click on convertible debt in the ICAP table and select edit details. Then we right click on the principal and select liquidation multiple and enter the amount of the liquidation preference. It's that simple. To apply the preference to interest follow the same steps.